While I may be the first woman in this office, I will not be the last. Because every little girl watching tonight sees that this is a country of possibilities. In her history-making political career, Kamala Harris has proven again and again what is possible. She is the first woman, the first black woman, and the first South Asian American to be elected vice president. As she acknowledged, she is standing tall on the shoulders of pioneering women who came before her, including her mother. I am thinking about her and about the generations of women, black women, Asian, white, Latina, Native American women who throughout our nation's history have paved the way for this moment tonight. Women who fought and sacrificed so much for equality and liberty and justice for all, including the black women who are often too often overlooked, but so often prove they are the backbone of our democracy. Breaking barriers and glass ceilings has been a defining part of Harris's journey. She was born the child of immigrants who met at the University of California, Berkeley. Her mother, a biologist from India, her father, a professor of economics from Jamaica. Raised in Oakland, California, she finished high school in Montreal, Canada, and attended Howard University in Washington, D.C. She was authentic. She was sincere. And, you know, what you see is what you get. She's the real deal. And hard worker, just a phenomenal, phenomenal friend and woman, and just so much fun to be with. Her years at Howard and the fellowship of her sorority, Alpha Kappa Alpha, shaped Harris's sense of mission, values she still champions today. We must honor sisterhood, and we must honor service. Harris graduated from Howard University and returned to California, where she attended Hastings School of Law. After law school, Harris climbed up the ranks as a prosecutor in Alameda County. She was elected as the first woman and the first district attorney of color in San Francisco. Harris would go on to become the first black and female attorney general of California. And in 2016, she was elected as the first senator of color from California. This is our house. <laughs> in a career of firsts, in 2019, Harris declared her intention of making more history. I stand before you today to announce my candidacy for president of the United States. With her rising national profile, Harris was seen as a frontrunner. But as a presidential candidate, Harris's record as a prosecutor was used against her. She put over 1,500 people in jail for marijuana violations and then laughed about it when she was asked if she ever smoked marijuana. In the face of this criticism, Harris steadfastly maintained she was always trying to make change from within. Was I able to reform the entire system? No, I was not, regrettably. But I continue to work on it. There is so much more work to be done. We've got to be everywhere. And we can never run away from going for the position of power that gives us the ability to be the one to make decisions that are about correcting the flaws, right? Although Harris ultimately bowed out of the 2020 presidential campaign, Democratic nominee Joe Biden had no reservations about selecting her to be his historic running mate. Is the answer yes? The answer is absolutely yes, Joe, and I am ready to work. I am ready to do this with you, for you. I'm just deeply honored, and I'm very excited. In taking on Donald Trump on the campaign trail, friends and colleagues had no question Harris would be up to the task. She comes with all of the qualifications that are necessary uh, to be in that position. After she arrived in Washington, D.C., uh, she distinguished herself on the Judiciary Committee in the way that she interrogated. Uh, she was absolutely stellar uh, in her ability to do that. 
Through a bitter presidential campaign and with so much at stake, Kamala Harris stood firm. This is supposed to be a debate based on fact and truth. And the truth and the fact is Joe Biden has been very clear. He will not raise taxes on anybody who makes less than four hundred thousand dollars a year. He said he's going to repeal the Trump tax cuts. Uh, Mr. Vice President, I'm speaking. Well, wait, wait. I'm speaking. And on election day, American voters cast their ballots. And once again, Kamala Harris added another first to her resume. When our very democracy was on the ballot in this election, with the very soul of America at stake and the world watching, you ushered in a new day for America. Her focus needs to be the future and what is she's going to do as vice president in a Biden-Harris administration. And I believe with the two of them at the top and Democrats controlling the Senate and the House, we will be able to get transformative legislation accomplished. The fact that she is literally of South Asian um, descent and of, of African descent, all of that creates a space of black and brown girls all around this nation to start seeing themselves. As the second most powerful elected official in the country and the most powerful black elected official, Kamala Harris is poised to continue making change from within. Now is when the real work begins.